Welcome to this US Master video tutorial. We want to show some videos about collecting planimetric features like buildings, roads, rivers and lakes. And therefore we will make a small series of videos. We want to show how you can run in US Master these functions and typically they are done in stereo so we want to start with some stereo option video and talk about some basic rules how to collect data in stereo of course the video won't show stereo but we will showcase it in the stereo environment so you can follow up in your own stereo environment step by step these uh, functionalities. Stereo capturing is offered in the US edit. So we need to select an area where we want to collect our data from the point cloud manager. I will load here the whole demo data set and start the editor. I deactivate my points and then we can see now here our footprints and this is already the first thing we want to address here in this first video is about selecting stereo models which is um, also available as options for the best fit stereo yeah, you can find here in the view best fit stereo the function this is the same as clicking here this button here and if we go to the tool options then we see for the best fit stereo we have some settings that we can uh, take care and um, very common it's to digitize stereo in images from the same strip so therefore apply strip constraint makes sense mainly the images are flown in the same direction so we um, have in this case a good overlap mainly between images in the same strip some people they would like always to digitize looking in the stereo mo model to the north mainly because they have perhaps some basic uh, map on the side or, and they see how the features are aligned and where they need to navigate so this can be forced of course when you fly north south then your stereo model itself looks east or west yeah? so you have to be careful also how is your flight pattern if you apply the force north align viewing an important part is also the overlap and the uh, best intersection so in the overlap we can guarantee that a stereo model at least the first and the second image to each other overlap with a specific amount of percentage so it would be nice to have perhaps 60 percent overlap or 70 percent overlap and then you can enforce this on the other side when two images are overlaying too much then you have a very bad uh, base height ratio we call it always so that means the height accuracy how you measure is not as good as if the two images would be a little bit more further away from each other uh, it's like when you your eyes when you look at your as a human being your eyes have a distance of 8.5 to 9 centimeters to each other so whenever you try to look in the distance you can measure very easily or you can guess very easily one meter distance or two meter distance but when we reach more than 50 meters then we are not so good and after 400 meters our resolution is over and so therefore our height accuracy which is our depth measurement uh, is um, bound to our baseline between the two eyes so if I would put my left eye poke it <laughs> 10 meters more to the left and my right eye I put it 10 meter more to the right then I would have a much better base height ratio and then I could measure very accurate distances and this is the same here with the steer measurement which is important when you have um, for your projects uh, the um, specification to measure a specific height accuracy and you can force this with the best intersection angle so here we could then say okay I don't want to uh, allow have my best intersection angle with 10 degrees 
uh, which would be then when I have images that are very close to each other, but I want to have intersections of more than 30 degrees, and then you could here enforce this value. Of course, to apply strip constraints, also you need to generate strips. Yeah, they can be done in the project edit. In our case here, we have strips assigned. We have here these strips 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And therefore, when we now open here with the strip constraint, the best fit, so if I click somewhere here, then the stereo that is opened are taking two images from the same strip. So in my case, image 3911 and image 3912. As mentioned, this is a north-south flight. So when I zoom a little bit out, then, uh, then we have here the two images, but north is not looking up. You see north is here pointing to the right side. Yeah? So in this case, uh, these two images in reality then are this image and this image here. If I want now to enforce to select instead of 3911 and 3912 uh, the first with the third image. So then I can use, as I mentioned, the best intersection angle and say here I want to force here about 30 degrees. And then with the 30 degrees, hopefully I would get it, which will not be the case, we will see here. It will still select 3910 and 3911. Mainly the issue is of my minimum overlap. And so I have to deactivate minimum overlap, and then I can go here, select here this area, and then he selects 3910, 3912, because these two images don't cover anymore the full 40%. Uh, they have less overlap. If I here switch off the, the point cloud, then we can see here that this is now a slighter overlap part. So you have to be careful. Some of these parameters can also eliminate each other so that they won't work for some purposes. I will stick with my first stereo model where I have more overlap. And here I want now to um, talk about continuation of measurement. That means if I measure a line and then I come to the border of my stereo overlap, then I want not to stop my measurement, but I want to continue to measure my line. So in this case, what you need to take care is in the options preferences. There are here the options for the, um, I have to check here, here in the views stereo, we have here the option automatically load next stereo pair. The first parameter we already have seen is the yellow line here, which is uh, mentioning that we already change automatically the stereo model earlier than at the last possible pixel. Reason is, uh, of course, also the further you are outside in a stereo model, the more you have occlusion and overlap. And also the image that is used, one of the two images, it would be the end of the image. And here we have very strong distortions also. And of course, also, you don't see any more fervor in stereo, which is also for interpretation and a reason. So if I already here uh, change the stereo model, then I already have seen how it will continue. So then I will not be surprised when the next stereo model opens that here all of a sudden I should have changed my path of measurement because there was an obstacle or something in the way. The second thing is the maximum rotation of next pair. Of course, if we open this stereo model and we measure and continue, we want to see in the next stereo model in the same direction. We want also to have a model where north is pointing to the right side. And therefore, we want to open a similar stereo model where we have a similar amount of base height ratio and uh, we can continue in a homogeneous way, our measurements. The restriction and preferable buttons, I think, are self-explaining, so I won't go here in this video too much into it. And want to finish this video with one more thing, which is, of course, the 3D mouse possibility. So we have as an input device, you can also use in US Master the Stealth mouse and also the uh, GGS mouse. 
um, from SoftMouse, which are very good stereo feature measurement tools. Um, I will show in this video with the normal mouse all these functionalities, but with these 3D mouse devices, um, it makes all the measurements easier. You have uh, up to 20 buttons that you can predefine, so you don't need to jump so much around on shortcuts and also on the keyboard. And therefore, I would strongly recommend when you do a lot of feature collection in stereo to use uh, one of these two mouses. So typically Stealth and GGS are the current ones. There are also some immersion mouses existing, but I think as I know, this is now more the GGS soft mouse that's coming up. The definition of them is well explained in the reference manual, how you can define the buttons. Also here in the view, you can see how the buttons are defined. So here you can easily see, okay, if I click this button, then I have this number here available. And the actions that are selectable are the same actions that you can find in the reference manual here in US Edit on uh, Edit Point and Line functionalities. Perhaps one last thing, of course, to measure stereo, your stereo images need to be activated. So in photos, you need to select all your photos and then place them as active. Only with this setting, the best fit stereo will work. If you want to manually take two images as one stereo model and you say, I, I need to use image 3909 and I need together with 3907, then you can select them here in the photo tab and then uh, use here to open them in a stereo view and then you will take these two images as your stereo view. I hope this helps you to get started with all these um, planimetric features extractions in US Edit, which are upcoming in the next videos. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day. Goodbye.